Project COCO began in 1972 when Dr. Francine Patterson undertook a study of the language capabilities of apes by teaching American Sign Language to a year-old lowland gorilla named COCO. Although it wasn't the first study of primate language abilities, it was the first to involve a gorilla. After 23 years, it is not only the longest uninterrupted project of its kind, but has exceeded the expectations of everyone involved. I was ready to just find her everything about what she was doing. But my professor, Carl Prebrum, said, no, I think you better start simple. Start with three signs or so. And I said, OK, let's try food, drink, and more, since those seem to be really important words. After only one month as a student, Coco was using sign language to make simple requests, and by the age of two, to form short phrases. Coco now knows over 1,000 words in sign and understands spoken English. Because Coco was raised in, a, in an English-speaking environment, I decided to keep speaking English to her. And it became clear to me after a while that when I didn't sign or when someone came who didn't know sign, who said something to her, for instance, somebody came to her window and said, well, what's the sign for good? And Coco's demonstrating it immediately. <laughs> um, so she, she clearly translates. So if we ask her to say a word, she can sign it. How about eye? All right. How about ear? All right. Okay. You're doing real good, Coco. Okay, let's do an F word. How about fruit? Very good. In 1976, Dr. Patterson, Dr. Ron Cohn, and the late Barbara Hiller established the Gorilla Foundation in Woodside, California. The Gorilla Foundation is a nonprofit organization designed to support the continuation of the language study, and more importantly, to create a secure future for gorillas, both in captivity and in the wild. Initially, I thought I'd work four years and learn all about ape language and stop. <laughs> this is what other researchers had done, and it seemed like an okay idea at the time. But what I came to realize is that there was an obligation and a bond that I could not ignore. And an emotional bond had been formed, just like between a mother and child. And you, you can't just sever that bond without extreme consequences on both sides. me as I work with her and discover that she's capable of lying, that she's got a good sense of humor, that she has a, a, a sense of, uh, has a very active emotional life, um, and also that she can be embarrassed. I think that was the one that got me the most, is that, wow, she is every bit as much of a person as I am.